First off, first and foremost, thank you. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Thank you for watching. And most importantly, thank you for having an open mind because this is something that frustrates me so much and I'm so glad you watched this video uh, because it shows that you haven't totally turned off the idea of prospecting over the telephone. As time goes by, more and more people are like, uh, cold calling doesn't work, uh, the phones don't work, right? We need to focus on uh, social media accounts. The phone works, people. The phone works great. And the phone actually works better now than it ever has. Why? All of the quitters out there, all of the people that haven't learned the flow, well, they're giving up on the phone. So I'm gonna show you right now a prospecting voicemail that you can leave that's like, it's gonna blow your mind how simple it is and it's really, really going to change your world. If you like this video, please, I think I've got four subscribers. So be number five, right? Subscribe to the channel. My name's Matt Easton. I just wanna help you get better. I love sales. Maybe I need to get a life. I've got, uh, jujitsu, cars, my family, and sales, right? So I love this stuff. I wanna help you. This is how I have my fun, is helping people uh, with knowledge that I would have liked to have received. So let's talk a little bit about what you should leave on your voicemail messages when you're prospecting. I wanna, I wanna give you this really simple advice. Before I tell you exactly what to leave in the voicemail, let me tell you the industry is kind of into, into two camps. If we take out those people that have avoided the phone altogether, the folks that are using the phone, and you may be in one of these camps, it's not your fault right now, uh, but people fall into two camps, and, and both of these ideas are wrong. Camp number one, if I'm gonna make prospecting calls is, it's not worth my time, I won't leave a voicemail, okay? That is so bad. Your time is the most valuable thing that you can have, and I get it, your time, is valuable. You don't wanna do things that aren't worth your time. Well, it took you time to find that prospect. It took you time to dial the number. Even if you're using an auto dialer, you have to sit there while you're waiting for them to answer. And if they have one of those long-winded voicemails, you have to sit through that. So if you've made that investment in time, it is the absolute worst thing you can do for yourself to not leave a voicemail message. That's camp number one. They just don't even leave a voicemail message. Camp number two is they leave these long-winded and comment below if you've received one of these or if your company has told you to do this or if you're just doing this because you don't know any better. They leave one of these long-winded messages like, uh, hey, Mr. Easton, this is Randy with Randco, and our company works with companies like yours to lower their expenses and increase profitability, typically by 22%. Um, I'm actually setting up an appointment and going to be in your area next Tuesday and Wednesday. Click right? Those long-winded trying to sell things on the, uh, the voicemail message. So let's get into what you should leave, all right? First off, sales is really simple. Sales is really easy. We make it harder than it needs to be. And one of the ways that we make it harder is we have this mindset that I'm gonna sell somebody on a cold call. Don't think that way. Everything needs to be happened in stages, right? So when they don't answer the phone, when you get frustrated, when you don't leave a voicemail, oh man, they didn't answer, I couldn't sell them something. I'm just not gonna leave a voicemail. Wrong attitude. And then when you do have to leave a voicemail, leaving that long-winded message, stop trying to sell them on the voicemail, okay? There's three things that I want you to communicate in this voicemail message that you're gonna leave when you're prospecting. Number one, who you are. And it's very simple who you are. We're not getting into anything long-winded here. Number two, how you're connected with that person. When you start saying how you're connected, the, the heavens are gonna part, right? And they're gonna start raining down deals and leads on you. So number one, who you are. Number two, how you're connected. Number three, you have a potentially really powerful idea, something that could improve their life. So here's how the voicemail goes, okay? First thing I want you to do is say who you are. You're not going into, I'm vice president of sales at Randco and Randco, blah, blah, blah. Just your name and your company, that's it, nothing more. And then how you're connected. If you receive that lead, let's say it's from a marketing event, you both attended, we both attended the summit marketing event in March, right? Or we were both, uh, you were a previous client of ours, whatever it is. Now, if you need a default for how you're connected, here's my favorite. 
LinkedIn. We're connected on LinkedIn. Well, uh, what if they're not one of my connections on LinkedIn? Everybody is your connection on LinkedIn. A lot of people don't realize this. So you have your first degree connections, okay? Those are the people that you're actually like a first degree connected with. But LinkedIn also refers to second degree connections, third degree connections. So anybody that's on LinkedIn, you're a, essentially a third degree connection with them. You're third degree connected with tens of millions of people, right? So the chances that you're connected, and you know what, hey, maybe you made a mistake. You thought they were a third degree connected. So you can just say we're connected on LinkedIn. So here's how the voicemail would go. Let's say I'm calling myself and I'm Randy with Randco, right? Ring, 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 you get my voicemail. Here's the voicemail message. Hey Matt, this is Randy with Randco. You and I are connected on LinkedIn. I wanted to reach out to you personally because I've got an idea Maybe a game changer for you, but I'm not sure. Can you give me a call on my mobile? 303-803, bop, 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 right? So, hey, Matt, this is Randy with Ranco. You and I are connected on LinkedIn, right? Who am I? Randy with Ranco. How are we connected? You and I are connected on LinkedIn. You know, I wanted to reach out to you personally. Notice I don't sound spammy and I sound important. My time's valuable. I wanted to take a little bit of my time and reach out to you personally. Wanted to reach out to you personally because I've got an idea. It may be a game changer for you, but I'm not sure. Check that out, right? Now you've just taken yourself from that category of those cheesy, hey, we help company like yours reduce your expenses by 20%, that salesman category, to an elite professional. Only an elite professional would say, you know, I think I've got an idea that may be a game changer for you, but I'm not sure, right? I I'm not sure, I won't know until we talk together, so just simply say that. I've got an idea, maybe a game changer for you, but I'm not sure. Can you give me a call on my mobile? Now, hopefully you can use your mobile. I love using my mobile for work. I encourage all of our people to use their mobile. If they don't wanna use their personal mobile, we buy them a mobile phone. So and we always say, call me on my mobile, right? Now that's like, I, I'm not calling a call center. I'm not calling a switchboard. I'm not calling some outbound sales department. Here's an elite professional. He clearly knows me. Sounds like we're friends, right? Maybe we met at a party because we're connected on LinkedIn and this guy, He's got a really cool idea that he thinks may be a game changer for me, but he's not sure. I want to find out. Let's work together. Let's figure out what this idea is and see if it can help me. You are going to find that when you leave this message, not only are a lot of people going to call you back, but you're now all of the sudden going to have a power about you, an authority about you, a consultative nature about you that, hey, we're friends, we're connected. I want to hear this idea, right? Now, if you want to know what to say when they call you back, leave a comment below. I'll make a video on that. And more importantly, what if they answer the phone? There's some very specific things I want you to do and say when they answer the phone. And jumping right into your sales pitch we help companies like yours save 20% on expenses and increase profitability by 86% is not one of those things. So if you want to know what to say when they answer, leave a comment below. I'll help you. But most importantly, hope you subscribe to the channel, right? We got four subscribers. Let's see if you're number five. Uh, and please like the video, leave a comment. It's great to meet you. My name's Matt Easton. You and I are connected on YouTube. I look forward to giving you more great ideas like this and I'll see you on the next video.